Hi, this is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm here at PubCon in Las Vegas with Ross Dunn, who's the CEO of Stepforth Web Marketing up in Victoria, BC. Glad to be with you here today. You're one of our writers for Web Marketing Today, mm -hmm. and we appreciate the stories you send us. Thank you. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, competitive analysis. What is competitive analysis, and what's it for? Okay, well, we do competitor analysis to actually set the scene for any of our contracts or any of, any of the work we do with our clients. Uh, what, is it, what is it for? Uh, essentially what we do is we work with the clients to determine what their competitors are up to so that we can then determine exactly how to proceed with their campaign. Up to in what sense? Well, uh, I guess it really depends on the client. So let's say we have two spectrums. We have the small business who has... Uh, let's just say a local marketplace they're concerned about. But they do have some rankings that say that they need to compete with. We're going to look at their competitors and find out exactly what they've done to succeed. And some of them have. There's always someone above them, right? right. That's why they're going Now we're talking about search engine rankings. Exactly. So you're looking at how they got to the ranking on the search engines that they did, what techniques they used, that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. And what other contributing factors there might be. In some cases, that, you know, I hate to say it, but sometimes they luck out. They've got the right architecture on their website. They have a perfect amount of links. Their site may be poorly optimized, but they've got a great amount of links. Okay. So it, it's quite a balance. So you're, you're figuring out then what the competitors are doing that are above them and what they need to do to get to that point. What kind of businesses can benefit from competitor analysis? You know, it really doesn't matter. Any size business. Now the thing is, um, of course, there's, there's a huge spectrum of, of uh, depth we can do for our competitor analysis. So what does a thing. competitor analysis involve? What are the, the kind of steps involved in a typical standard sort of competitor analysis? Well, a typical one would um, look at certain elements such as links, such as uh, the site, site architecture. Um, we do a full analysis of their website, so we actually look through, it's almost a site audit of your competitors. And when we look at the website, we would be looking for everything from the optimization elements, um, what uh, URLs they're using, making sure everything's really, really, really high tech, you know, mm -hmm. looking for the things that are working for them. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, we would break that down uh, and we, we would actually take all the competitors and put them into a chart and show how they're doing in each one of those elements. And we can actually show an example of which ones are doing well. So you know, they're number one, mm -hmm. they're number two, number three. And you can actually start to see a pattern of what works and what doesn't in that particular industry. Um, and they do change. I, I find that different industries, different keywords have different... So you know, what, let's say you, uh, you know, from your experience in doing these, and I guess you're doing a lot of these lately, do, uh, yeah. what kinds of discovery might you find? Uh, uh, you know, kind of aha, I see kind of things. What, what, what kind of things might you find? Well, you know, lately, a lot of it's been links. <laughs> Google won't like to hear that, but it's true. You know, the fact is, um, if you get a good link from someone, it's going to help you. Now, that, of course, I guess that is within Google's guidelines. They're, they're like that. They like to see that uh, if you've got good content, you've got good links. But we found some places, um, for example, here's a, here's a free one. We found one at one point uh, from uh, the WC3 consortium. They have a supporters form or a supporters page where you can have a link from. And that's a and this is unheard of, a PR 8 or 9, depending on the day. And that's, that's great. And if you support, I think it's only $1,000 a year, there you are, you get a link from that page. Okay. Now they have added no follow tags, but that's the sort of thing at that point they didn't. That was an aha for our client. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. So we get to support someone, yeah. looks good for us, but it also gives us a benefit. Any other things you've seen as you do competitor analysis that say, ah, that's the difference? Uh, you, think, you know, the general kinds of things that yeah. you find. Well, uh, general would be heading tags. Uh, so a lot of clients miss that, a lot of them. Um, you want to make sure that you use a heading tag to, to outline the page. So this is H1, H2, H3, exactly. H4. What, 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 a competitor what do these uh, header tags do for you from a search engine uh, ranking standpoint? Well, they draw attention. They increase the relevance of the phrase being used in the heading tag. So if you have a heading one tag at the beginning of your page you know, with uh, the actual title of the page, the, the page content in that heading tag, you're going to do wonders. You're going to have that extra boost within the page for the search engines to say, okay, well, this page, mm -hmm. at least begin the belief that this page is about that content. So it really yeah. clarifies what the page is about and, and, uh, and emphasizes what you're trying to get them to index. It builds that necessary credibility. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, from that point on, we also look at the, the 
the navigation. And uh, we found a ton of websites out there that use uh, poor navigation schemes. Poor meaning they don't uh, have text links. In a lot of cases, they're purely graphical or they're purely flash. And and also, um, sometimes they're using these drop-down systems that look really nice, but they're JavaScript-based and they're a little hard for search engines. I, I ran across a, a, an internet marketing firm with with a, a website entirely in Flash. Ooh. So they have, but they do have meta tags and a title. Okay. But there's nothing on the page to index. Hmm. Oops. Yes, yes. I think there are a lot of people just don't understand some of the some of the importance of these things. So you look for look at your competitors, you also look at your client and and figure that out. Exactly. Yeah, it depends on the scope. Like that's why I say any size business is is good. Like even if a small business who has a very low budget can come to us and say, can you just tell me? And we'll literally spend only an hour on the phone with them. Mm -hmm. It costs one hundred fifty dollars, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we spend that time two hundred dollars, and we figure out exactly what mm -hmm. um, the client's doing. We can just do it over the phone. Yeah. There's no report. a lot of analysis it's can be done pretty fast. At least the basic analysis. Yeah. yeah. But when we get the bigger ones, like a, a Fortune five hundred or even a, a, a fifty person business that has mm -hmm. um, some significant competitors, that can take uh, four or five days. Oh yeah. yeah. And they're fabulous. Those are ones I love because I really get into them. <laughs> I, I just love deconstructing the competitors. It's yeah. great. So yeah. tell me a little bit about your company, Ross. Well, Stepforth Web Marketing um, uh, has gone through a few uh, changes over the years, but we've been around since 1997. Yeah. Um, I started it myself just uh, as a actually as a hobby at the time, and then I realized just how much fun it was and, and how much it was building. And what do you do for clients? Well, we do search engine optimization, pay-per-click campaign management. Uh, and a lot of analysis and research. So everything from competitor analysis to web analytics research, um, mostly basic in those realms at this point because we're still building those those wings of our company. Mm -hmm. And uh, very soon we're going to be moving into the social marketing sector as well. And you have a dynamite newsletter uh, with really good content. I mean, there's a lot of flaky newsletters out there in this field, and you have solid content, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank well, you Ross much. Dunn, it's been great to be with you. This is Ralph Wilson at PubCon with Web Marketing Today.